Shawa students. This is one of a series of videos that we're currently making which will help you and guide you through your revision process. This can be used in all levels of your courses from GCSE, AS, A2 and other elements of revision throughout the school. Um, what I'm going to talk to you about in this short video is one technique which is called traffic lighting. Traffic lighting is an ideal technique to be using um, towards the end of your course or as you're preparing for a unit exam where it's essential that you're clear on a variety of things in relation to what that exam will involve. It's got a variety of steps. Step one is first of all knowing what you're going to be tested on. This is a fundamental aspect of any success in any exam. Now crucially, how are you going to get that information? In most cases, your teachers will have already provided you with a clear structure as to what the exam will involve. In some cases, if you're unclear, one of the right things to do would be to go to the exam board. Look on the website, find the actual course that you're doing, scroll down until you actually are able to see the fundamentals of that exam paper. Very often you will be able to find in your own revision guides a very clear structure in relation to what each exam will involve as well. Don't always trust those of course because exams go out of date very quickly, so seek clarification if you need it. Once you've got a sense of what each exam paper will involve, my advice will be to make your own list. Because immediately that will help to get you to visualise what will be in that exam. So make your own list first. Write it out fully, divide it into topics and subtopics. A good example might be the history of medicine. History of medicine for GCSE history is one exam. That's divided up into a series of topics, of which surgery is one. And surgery itself is divided up into a series of subtopics from the ancient world through to the Middle Ages, the 19th century, and indeed the 20th century surgery as well. Once you've got a complete list of topics and subtopics, you can go on to stage two. Stage two is the traffic lighting process itself. What this involves is for you to actually go through each of those topics and subtopics, traffic lighting them in relation to your confidence if they appeared on the exam paper. For uh, the most sensible way of doing this, of course, is using just the three colours. Go through and underline anything in green that you feel completely confident on. It's a topic and subtopic which you've uh, been tested on in the past, that you've done well on when you've tested in exams and practice tests. It's an area where even now thinking about it you feel confident. Check what you've got that confidence based on however. Make sure it's solid, genuine evidence before you rate it green. Because by rating it green, you're not saying you're going to leave it alone, but you are saying you're in a very strong position with that subject at this stage of your revision. Then go through and decide what needs to be amber. Amber are areas which you have some confidence on, but at the same time there be areas which you really would not be expecting yourself now, if it appeared on the paper, to certainly achieve full marks. These might be areas where you have been tested on previously, where you've scored some success. They may be areas that if you were questioned by your teacher in the lesson that day, you'd be able to recall some information, some knowledge, but not be able to do uh, particularly uh, yourself justice on. They will become your orange areas. And finally, of course, you're looking for your red areas. Now, red areas are the ones where really at the moment you really do lack confidence. They may be indeed topics and subtopics which you feel actually at that current moment you've got very limited understanding of. It might be an area that you've missed because you've been away from school, or it might be an area that you know you found difficult. If you find previous test papers and mock papers, it may indeed be an area where you've scored few or, or no marks at all. As you go through, these become your red areas. By the end of this process, the list that you've created will now immediately become something that you will be able to visually see and give you a current sense of where you are with this particular subject and this particular examination. Then you can move on to step three. The final key step, just to mention briefly for now of course, is now to take action. Take action will involve a variety of steps which we'll talk about in future videos. But taking action means exactly that. Your red areas need to improve rapidly so that they become amber and then green, and your amber areas need to become green as well. And following this process through should immediately help you to diagnose 
what you will need to do to achieve well in your exams when they come.